the czar walks down the row and is inspecting and looking at everybody. And then it gets to this soldier and the czar doesn't know what to do with himself. What's the meaning of this? You cut, this is how you come dressed? So the only thing that the soldier could think of were these words. It's not my clothing that serves you. It's not my medals that serve you. I serve you. The Alter Rebbe, the first Rebbe of Chabad, said something very profound, which carries tremendous meaning for the way that we should relate to God in our prayers. He said, I, in talking to God, I don't want your Gan Eden, I don't want your Garden of Eden, I'm not interested in your paradise, I'm not interested in your heavens. I'm not interested in your world to come, your messianic era, I'm not interested in any of that, all I want is you. The soul of a person wants to connect to God. Everything else is irrelevant. Angels, talking to angels, praying to angels, praying to... We go to God. We're told in the Torah, you shall love the Lord your God and serve Him with all your heart. The Talmud asks a question, what is this service of the heart? What is it? The answer is prayer. Prayer is the service of the heart. It's how we serve God. Ever hear that I'm going to services now? Where did that come from? Going to services. I'm going to the service, the mincha service. You know, they tell a story about a, a four-year-old kid who goes and he, there's the plaques on the walls in synagogues of you know, some have, who donated money, who, who uh, passed away serving their country. So... The plaque on the wall said, here lies, here's the memory of those who died in the service. And the kid asks his father, was it Mincha or Meir? <laughs> <laughs> service, prayer is a service. The essence of what prayer is can be summed up in a story. Today, when the military trains, it's obviously very rigorous, very hard, you know, you have to be in shape and you have to do everything that the sergeant says. And when the general comes to visit, oh, you better be on your best, look in your sharpest and on your best behavior. And then when the president comes, you better be even. Imagine 150 years ago and back, Russia. Before the communist, before the communist revolution, when they had the czar. Not only was it the most respected person in the country, he was respected out of fear. You did something wrong, off with your head. He could do whatever he wanted. So they tell a story of a certain platoon one day that was practicing their, their marching and everything. They got word that the general, the high general, and the czar were going to come visit the platoon and everything had to be perfect. You know, everyone's shoes had to be perfectly polished. Everyone had to be perfectly trained. So there was a few hours of rest time in order to allow everybody to get what they needed to get in order, make sure everything was perfect, their clothes was pr were pressed, their medals were shined. So what a few of them decided to do, you know, they'd been dirty, they'd been, you know, they'd been practicing for a long time, they were sweaty and dirty, so they decided, you know what, they're gonna go take a, take a little bath in the creek nearby. So they go to the creek, they take off, you know, they have their clothes, they go inside. All of a sudden, the trumpets sound, the czar is here. He's coming. So everybody scrambles, they dry off real quick, they, they, get, they get their clothes together, and one soldier is looking all around, he can't find his uniform. He's looking here, he's looking there, he doesn't see it, maybe someone took it, I don't know, he, he can't find it, maybe an animal got it. So he doesn't know what to do. If he doesn't show up, then he's dead. And if he shows up the way that he's looking, he's dead. So he figures, I might as well, just, I might as well show up. I mean, if I don't show, they're going to for sure hunt me down. So everybody runs up, rushes up the hill. Everyone lines up at a perfect attention. Metal shined, clothes pressed. And this soldier gets in line the way he was in the creek. <laughs> and the czar walks down the row and is inspecting and looking at everybody. And then it gets to this soldier. And the czar doesn't know what to do with himself. 
He says, what's the meaning of this? You come, this is how you come dressed? So the only thing that the soldier could think of were these words. It's not my clothing that serves you. It's not my medals that serve you. I serve you. And he saluted to the, to the czar. When it comes to prayer, prayer is the time where we, who we really are, connects with God. Not the medals that we tote around. What are our medals nowadays? What kind of car we drive? What kind of job we have? What kind of house we have? Not our clothes. Not our things that we classify ourselves by or categorize ourselves by or lift ourselves up by. It's who we are essentially. Can't hide behind the car you drive when you're praying. You can't hide who you are in this time. This is I serve you. Prayer is service. 